Hello friends and followers, welcome back to my channel, Microscopic Biology. Before we begin, please like, subscribe, and share all of my videos. Today, unlike my previous videos, I will be going through the steps for viewing plastids under a microscope. Before we begin, let me first explain what plastids are and where they can be found and what they do. Plastids are double membrane bound organelles found only in plants and algae. Plastids have two basic functions. They either perform photosynthesis or they store materials such as starch. So, for this experiment, you'll need one ripe banana, one unripe banana, two trays, one for your ripe, one for the unripe. You'll need an iodine tincture solution. As you can see, you can easily obtain this from Kroger. You'll also need a knife to impale those beautiful bananas. You'll also need microscope slides. And you'll need cover slips. These cover slips are small square pieces of glass that go over your specimen and they help you to view it better under the microscope. Lastly, but definitely not least, you do need a microscope which you cannot see but is right here beside me. So let's begin. So what I have here are the ripe bananas already sliced and the unripe bananas already sliced. Now, as you can see, you want these to be almost paper thin so that the light from the microscope is able to penetrate through the sliced bananas. In addition, I've also placed one slice of the ripe banana on the slice on the slide and another slice on the unripe uh, from the unripe banana on the slide. Now as you can see here you want to mash them down just a little bit so that you, you get a better viewing experience under your microscope. Open your iodine tincture bottle, place about one or two drops of the iodine solution on top of your bananas. And if I can get this cover slide off, place your cover slide on top, like so, and press it ever so gently. Do the same thing for your unripe slide, and I'll see you under the microscope. So our first slide is the slide of the ripe banana, and as you can see, the iodine dyed the individual plastids a purplish sort of color. In the areas where you see large clumps of plastids, there are there's a darker purplish, almost black sort of color. However, when we observe stuff under microscope, we only want to look at an individual cell or individual specimen. And to serve our purposes, a plastid from a ripe banana will stain purple. Now, the darker the color, the more starch there is. And since it's a light purple in this case, we can see that there's not a lot of starch in ripe bananas. Indeed, when you eat a ripe banana, it tastes sugary and less on the starch sort of side. Our next slide is the slide of the unripe banana. As you can see, there's a considerable difference between the two. These plastids stained a very dark blue. It's almost bluish black. And this difference is due to the large amounts of starch present in the 
plastids of an unripe banana and when you do eat an unripe banana you can clearly tell there is a large amount of starch present in an unripe banana which is why it doesn't taste as pleasing as a ripe banana. To conclude this experiment and video we can clearly see how the starch plastids were dyed a very dark blue black color in the unripe banana while only a hint of purple blue was all that was observed in the ripe banana. And in fact, according to Healthline, a ripe banana contains only about 1% starch, while unripe bananas have up to 80% starch. If you want to learn more about why iodine dyes starch and not sugar, or if you want a step-by-step -step procedure for this experiment, it's all in the description box below. So that's it for today's video. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, I'm Mike from Microscopic Biology.